While there are plenty of options for back-to-school shopping in the stores, many people now head online for supplies and new school outfits. Pay close attention you don't fall for copycat websites that offer a popular outfit or shoe for well below the typical cost. If you're on a third-party website or you see something on an Instagram ad or other social media ads, use extreme caution. Meredith Radford with the Better Business Bureau says make sure the website has HTTPS in the URL meaning it's secure, and look for the lock symbol. Don't trust the reviews on that specific website. Research on your own to see what other customers are saying about the products. You also need to be on guard for clickbait links that may claim to offer a deep discount. Scammers want you to click the link to get access to your personal information or put malware on your device. College and high school students don't fall for fake scholarship applications that ask you to pay up front or for personal information like your social security number. And student loan scammers continue to send emails and leave automatic voicemails. It's now showing possibly qualified. Claims your student loan is eligible to be paid off. Don't respond to these unsolicited messages. Instead, check directly with studentaid.gov or your student loan servicer. Another back-to-school scam targeting high school and college students, employment scams. It's just emotionally, financially devastating. Devastating for Ariana Duvall, a student at NCANT University, after she was scammed out of $2,400. We showed you how she accepted a job for what she thought was a research opportunity at her college. She got this check to buy office supplies. A check even had the logo of her university. Her bank cashed the check, and she sent the money through a banking app as instructed to another worker so she could get her office supplies and start her remote job. Turns out, Scammers were impersonating a professor at her university, all in efforts to get quick cash from her. Now, her story on how she was scammed made it all the way to D.C. She testified in front of lawmakers as they want more protections for consumers from scammers on banking apps. When it comes to employment scams, big red flags when you have to pay money or buy gift cards as part of the job. Also, if the pay is too good to be true. Now, when it comes to protecting your money during back to school shopping, always use a credit card as you can dispute it if anything goes wrong.